here uh, we will see that we have uh, JSON data and how to read this JSON data and uh, so in uh, Flutter reading from some external API or we reading from file system so at that time we use uh, what is called future uh, builder right so you can see here we have uh, like sample uh, JSON data right so it is uh, one JSON we are using here one API that is going to when we are calling this API to read data uh, so we are getting uh, this JSON data from that uh, API so we required here uh, what is called uh, POJO classes uh, um, give the name of that response I mean the name of the class and click on the generate dot so you can see here the uh, JSON uh, from JSON to dot classes uh, are created now and just uh, take those all classes and paste here and create those classes uh, create the files um, the next thing uh, just import those all things okay so pojo classes are created now I'll just create one api service uh, provider and here uh, class api service uh, provider but uh, before that we need to add http dependency in uh, what it's called uh, public specs.yaml file http and any you can specify the version number here and click uh, what does package get or uh, clean and let's write uh, one method future uh, response the response here we are writing which uh, we created from that JSON data and write the name of the method get uh, user and uh, and we need to write that API uh, what is called API base uh, you Is called uh, URL before that we need to import uh, this HTTP okay so we dot get so it will return one response and from that response we need to get the data so it will check response dot uh, status is equal to 200 it means uh, successful uh, request we got a uh, response and from response dot body you will get the actual uh, what is called data here you can see this data will get from response dot body and now from here we need to uh, convert that JSON data in our POJO class then what we can do uh, response uh, dot from uh, JSON which uh, is in response class and we need to pass here the JSON response uh, map type you can see here uh, a string cannot be converted to map a string and dynamic because that method accept, uh, expect uh, what is called map uh, string and dynamic then what we can do we have JSON dot uh, encode method sorry decode method and you can pass that JSON response and it will convert our uh, what is called that JSON data in our uh, response type so response uh, result okay you can see here the from response okay and uh, return that result so this will return now our response uh, what is called entity or response POJO and here what we can do in home uh, simply just create one uh, widget home page let's create one package uh, widget uh, widget okay so let's create uh, one class home page okay import that uh, material design pad materials 
and home page import so you can see uh, okay we are seeing here black screen because that is container let's uh, import a scaffold and write the app bar app bar title text user uh, list <coughs> list and let's uh, what is called create the object of api service provider new api service provider and here uh, we can write here the body uh, in body future builder and pass it is a generic type you can pass the response because we are going to future object of uh, response type and it required one future so api service provider dot get user and uh, builder so in builder uh, take two parameters uh, context uh, and uh, what it's called second you can see a sync snapshot right if in the snapshot uh, is having the actual data so we can check if it has data or uh, has error then we can check right snap dot uh, dot data so it will return the actual uh, what is called data from that snapshot and from snapshot or uh, data we are calling here the data so it will return what is called list of data so you can see a uh, snapshot data is the actual data and that our data we are calling from response you can see uh, here the data we are calling means it will return the list of uh, object right and we can also see here the data or pages or uh, what is called add and other properties if you want to get so we want to get the data because uh, we have to get the list of uh, user right then what we can do <coughs> um, else if data is not available then we can just return one circular progress uh, indicator right and return something like uh, list view builder is uh, required two parameters context and index number and here we will return so we need to provide here what is called uh, the length uh, of uh, I mean the count how many items is going to be in the list view so we can see here right list dot uh, length and it is called return something uh, text okay list dot uh, not dot uh, index um, okay index dot uh, it is called first name so you will see here the first name we got of for your six uh, user so instead of uh, returning uh, this uh, text we can just first get uh, that object user list dot index right so generally uh, directly we can use here user dot first name or something like this <coughs> then we can return here the list style first we will write the title and text uh, user dot first name user dot uh, first name and uh, concatenate here the last name as well uh, user dot last name and you can see the name here then subtitle text uh, user dot email we can write perfect and now what we can do here uh, leading means you want to show the author on images here so you can write here the circular author and um, what is called background image a network uh, image you can pass here what is called the path of that image so we have here author okay uh yes we got the data here then uh, what we did here <coughs> uh we just take in here we're checking uh snapshot uh, has data then show the data otherwise show the circular uh, progress indicator so still uh you can see um what is called that circular bar uh right in the center you will see now uh, in center perfect <coughs> okay then uh, what we did here uh, snapshot has data then get the data from uh, that snapshot data and return here what is called list view um, okay and and builder and getting the object returning here the list style okay then what i'm saying here suppose that uh, each time we are getting the data from uh, what is called uh, api so now we want to make the catch we want to save that information in the local if it is available then we read from the file otherwise we will make call uh, to that api so let's write one file name uh, user data dot json and what it's called we need to add here the path provider because we are going to save the data in uh, 
file okay let's uh, package get mm, and clean uh, if it is not working and restart the application maybe permission required okay okay api service here now let's uh, write get uh, what is called temporary directory it will return directory and we need to call here we use await and file create the object of file please make sure it should be imported from io and file and write the directory here dot path and the name of the file slash file name okay and check and check here if file dot exist if file exists then what we will do we will read that data from file otherwise we will call uh, the api so just uh, cut this uh, code which are using to get the data from api <coughs> okay in if file exists then what we will do <coughs> file dot read as a sync uh, string as a string async and what we will do um okay uh okay nothing required here okay just simply it will return the json data from our file when we are uh, giving the path then what we can do <coughs> now from that json data again we need to convert uh, this json data to our uh, response class then json dot encode and pass the json data and uh, what uh, wrong here <coughs> okay decode not the encode from json we are decoding here it will return what is called response object uh, it will return response object okay and what we can do we can return here the response response okay and but before that what we need to do we can write here the one uh, log it is loading from api and here we can write it is loading from our cache air file so you can see in the console it is loading from api for now what we will do okay mm, okay still it is loading from api because file is not exist then save that uh, json data in the local file from the next call it will be available in the local <coughs> directory then file dot write at string async simply just pass that uh, json information which we have uh, in json response and we need to pass some parameters like plus um, what is called true okay it will clean our uh, what is called buffers and file mode dot write it will always create one new file perfect and let's run this one now we can see it is reading from file that's great so it is not calling to api so how much is faster we can see we are not seeing here the circular uh, progress bar when we are reading uh, from a local file just uh, reverse this condition and now read from what is called api and rerun you will see here the progress bar now it's reading from api you can see in the console great so somehow if you want to save the information in the local file i mean if we, we do not have the complex uh, data then we can simply store in a file if this type of information we want to store we don't need to set up those uh, sql thing and uh, storage other stuff so i hope you really enjoy